The EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, or often called DPU, is an extremely capable system. And there are quite a few things that are different. And depending on your application, this might be a very compelling unit for you, whether it's for your RV, it's for a cabin, whole home backup system. There's multiple applications where this unit could be perfect. So let me show you the basic specifications. Let me show you the input output. Now some basics for the ultras and things that we can kind of overlook is that you guys understand why there's kind of two separate units. The top part is the inverter. So that's gonna be all your input, all your output, all your MPPT for your solar, all your smarts, display, everything. It's gonna be on your top unit. This top unit weighs 70 pounds. And then you have your bottom unit. This is a six kilowatt hour battery. That's gonna be all the capacity for the unit. These two have to be together. The inverter does not have any built-in battery capacity. And this one weighs in at 116 pounds. This thing is a beast and it is a two person operation. Now dimensionally, you need about 29 inches of clearance wide. You need 19 inches clearance deep and then height wise 16 inches if you do not use this cart with wheels which is very handy or you're gonna need 21 inches if you do use that cart. So let's look at the outputs and inputs and then start doing some actual testing. So this little compartment's kind of new and it's actually a USB-A port which would allow you to have a 4G dongle here to give you cellular connectivity opposed to trying to go off your Wi-Fi. So that's pretty handy depending on your application. Then up top, you're gonna to have USB-C. So that's gonna be two USB-C and that's gonna be 100 watts capability. So you'll be able to do all your fast charging on your phones, iPads, and even your laptops. And then some standard USB-A's off the top. The only other DC out would be a DC Anderson port here, which is a 30 amp max output. Then going into the AC output side, we have all these doors that we'd start to flip open. This is gonna give you your full lineup. We have four 20 amp, 120 volt, one 30 amp RV, 120 volt. And this is one of those killer features. Now we have an L14-30, and this is a 240 volt, 30 amp output. So we'll start to get our first couple ways of charging here. We have our low voltage solar. Why this is called low voltage solar is gonna make sense in a minute, but it is 1600 watts of solar input. This would be comparable to an EcoFlow Delta Pro and what it can take in, but it is a little different cable that would take MC4, but then it would convert it over to this CP30 plug. Just know that is a little different from the MC4 to an XT60 or an XT60i like this one, which is what we're used to for most EcoFlow portable power stations. Then you have your grounding screw. You have your fast and slow charge manual selection. Sometimes you'll charge off a 120 wall outlet like this input would allow you to do and you're not getting much in terms of wattage, maybe you're limited to around 400 watts, make sure you have this selection in the fast selection opposed to the slow selection. Now we'll turn it to this side and here's where all of your real high capacity comes in. One, you will have a battery meter for each of your batteries that you stack on top. Just know that each of these inverters can have actually five batteries stacked under it. So that'd be 30 kilowatt hours of capacity and if you have a smart panel too, you can bring together three of those stacks. So that would give you an entire capacity of 90 kilowatt hours. So that's where we're stepping into. That's basically a whole home system, not a backup system and surely not a portable power station. Now this power in and out, and these covers are handy because they actually slide back in and allow you to get access to these ports. This is an in out. This is what you plug into a smart panel too, but you also can get small adapters. One would be for an EV charger. So if you wanted to charge this off an EV charging station, or you could use this L14-30 adapter, which would allow you to run off a generator. Now I tried both of those. I took it out to an EV charger, plugged it in, and I also charged it off of a generator. What I was expecting is to get up to a 3600 watt capacity for the input power while going off this 240 volt input. But I actually was only getting about 1800 watts maximum. So this is an early production unit and I think it does need a firmware update. 
Now I'm gonna put some specifications on the screen right now so you can pause it and take a screen capture. I kind of glossed over some of the specifications and simply some of the specifications I didn't mention like the voltage and current ratings for the high voltage solar input or the low voltage solar input. So I wanna make sure you have those for your reference. A few last things, one sound that is a big advantage of the Ultra. So if we plug in just simply a 120 wall outlet and we start it charging, the EcoFlow Delta Pro, two cooling fans would spool up right away, especially as you start to pull significant wattage. Here, we're gonna go right up to 1800 watts. I'm literally standing right above the heat sink. So in the Delta Pro, the cooling fans would be on right here and you would hear that. It would actually be a nuisance. So if you're using a unit like this, let's say in a yard shed that you turned into a home office, the Ultra compared to the Pro or compared to any portable power station that has a lot of capability, but the cooling fans are pretty loud, this Ultra could serve as a much better solution. Let me know what questions you guys have or what I missed and that you need to know for your own applications.